Well, congratulations, obviously. I mean, this has got to feel like a dream at this point, right? I mean, you couldn't have drawn up the UFC career any better. I am just riding the weirdest wave right now, man. It's a, it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, that couldn't have gone any better. Like twice, I'm like, all right. Unbelievable. Talk to me about the, the, the progress of the fight. I mean, as it was, as it was, you know, unfolding, was it happening the way that you, you thought it would? It's everything we thought would happen kind of happened. Uh, we knew how he would come out. We knew he would uh, try to jab, circle, throw the kick. Uh, he actually stood in the pocket a little bit more than I expected him to, which is nice. Uh, we knew he would try to wrestle, and it was fine. Like it's the uh, kind of some, you know, like we knew he would drop for an ankle lock or something weird. Just he does weird shit, so it's fine. Everything played out exactly the way we thought it would. We didn't get knee in the head. We worked the body. That combination at the end was something we worked at nauseum. I've worked. God, like every day for four weeks with four coaches. So, like, it's just, you know, at that point, it's muscle memory. So, yeah, everything that was supposed to happen kind of happened. Nice. Uh, so, the body work, I guess, the investment, I mean, that was the game plan coming in? Yeah. Um, he's, I mean, he's uh, not the tallest guy I fought. Doesn't have the longest reach, but he likes to fight off his back foot, circle. He'll come in, lean back. So, uh, Having Puna already fought him, Sean already fought him, we kind of knew like his style. He's still, he's, he's still evolving, he's getting better, but everybody kind of has a base style. It'd be hard to touch his head, but uh, it's pretty easy for me to find people's bodies. So we're just like, you know what? Let's just go to the well, do what we're good at, and uh, break his body down. And no, after you won, you, you said, hey, don't call me journeyman. I mean, is that a, a chip that you've had on your shoulder? That's a really bad chip. I am really sick of people calling me a journeyman. Like, it is very disrespectful. I'm just like, I hate everyone that says it. And uh, I'm sure me saying this is going to make people say it more because people are assholes. But, uh, yeah, I take it personally. And they're like, yo, yeah, he's a journeyman. I'm like, well, well fuck you then. And then uh, it happens a lot. It makes me angry. And uh, I'm a guy that follows the polls and all the betting stuff. They're like, Chris Curtis has no chance. I would bet my mother's and my grandma mother's soul on it. I'm like, wow, you feel that strongly that I suck that much. So uh, it's just nice to shut people up again. Everyone said Phil Hall was a mistake. It can't happen twice. Curtis sucks, blah, blah, blah. He's basic. So I knocked out his another guy, prospect. And I promise you, people are going to be like, oh, he got lucky or Brendan Allen had pneumonia six years ago and it cropped back up. So I'll be discredited again, but it's fine. Well, I was going to ask you, that's the thing, like, do you, at this point, do you want, like, people to give you the respect that's due or do you kind of like the fact that hey, maybe I can just keep flying under the radar and, and you know, people just keep counting me out and I'll just keep proving them wrong. I want to be respected and feared, but uh, apparently it's just not in the cards for me. I don't have the personality or like, you know, I'm not like 37 and 0. So at this point, I'm just going to have to keep being the guy. Everybody's like, oh, he sucks. And then I beat him up and then they'll find a reason why that uh, he lost. And it's fine. I don't care. I get both of my checks and hopefully 50K. So at this point, screw you guys. You can either ride with me or not. I got the people uh, around me who are riding with me and so the rest of you guys I love all my fans out there they're bringing so so much support you guys are great everybody else can go screw yourself <laughs> you talk about this ride that you're on I mean it's crazy right it's not that long ago you retired twice in a night you know and, and now you're on top of the world man did something change in that moment was there I mean what changed between then and coming back is it something that clicked or what, what do you think it is uh just a lot of stuff in my personal life man like uh the can I say PFL in this interview? Or is, okay, yeah, like I know the rules on that, but no, like during PFL, man, uh, you know, it was my first, I, was, I just moved to Vegas, a new camp, everything was new, <clears throat> and a lot of weird stuff going on in my personal life, and like you know, it was just wasn't a great time for me, like as a person, like, not a fighting a fighter, but as a person, and uh, that, that that makes a difference, man. Like if, if you're if you're not in a great place, then uh, you're you're not gonna perform. Since then, man, uh, you know, I've had a change of camps, change of scenery, got different. People People in my personal life have come and gone, but now in my personal life, I'm in a great place. Uh, my son's happy, my family's happy. Like I've got a great camp. I've got what I feel like are the coaches that I need around me doing, you know, specific things. Like I don't have to run. Like my camp's not run by me anymore. I've got people around me telling me what to do and believing in me and making me work and doing everything. So it's just it's nice to be on autopilot and just go do what I'm told and go work and work and have people around me say like we can make you a star. Just, you know, we believe in you, so believe in yourself. I'm like, okay, well, the first time as a professional, I 100% believe in myself. During PFL, I had doubts, and I think that showed. I came in super confident first round. I let, them, I let like, everybody else around me get in my head about Magomed, and, like, both those fights, it showed. I wasn't sure. Like, I wasn't.
wasn't sure that I'd done everything I could. I wasn't sure that I'd taken uh, every precaution. But now there's no doubt in my head that I can be one of the best people. I, I know I'm one of the best people in the world. That's awesome, man. The last thing for me, I guess, any, I say you'll fight next week if they'll let you. But I mean, what, 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 do you want to take any time off after a year like this? I mean, what's, what, what is the plan? Are there names that you want now? Are you looking at rankings now? I just changed tax brackets twice in four weeks, six weeks. So I am down to fight again next week. Like, I don't care. Like, I, I'm, like I said, I'm 34, man. I'm getting a lot of grades right now. So I am just trying to stack up as much money as I can as quick as possible and just have fun, man. Like, I love fighting. Fighting's my job. There's a lot of people in this sport who like to compete. There's a lot of people who like to win. But very few people in this sport, I promise you, enjoy the act of fighting. I genuinely enjoy the act of violence. I enjoy fighting other people. I'm not like Sean, who's a bully and would, like, beat an unconscious man. Like, no. Like, with Brendan, yeah, he would. That's why he's laughing. Like, with Brendan, like, he's, you know, he came out. He was full of himself. He was feeling it. And I was feeling it. And it just makes me fight harder. Because I'm like, I got a guy in front of me who's ready to go. He wants to fight. So I'm like, let's go. I don't want to beat a guy who I'm supposed to beat and doesn't, like, have any fight in him. He wanted to fight. It makes me a better fighter. I love fucking fighting. So let's get paid and fight. You said about you guys both coming out there ready to go. Were you guys talking to each other at the beginning of that fight? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's so... Unlike Mr. Strickland, I get along with Brendan now. I think he's a nice guy. He's a, he's a funny dude. So the entire first round, I think we're talking to each other. Like, we're going, like, I, I landed a punch, and I'm like, oh, that hurt. He's like, oh, it didn't hurt. I'm like, oh, it didn't hurt. He landed, he kicked me, and I'm like, I didn't land. He's arguing if it landed. He, like, knee stomped me. I looked at him, like, come on, bro. He apologized, like, yeah, it was a dick move. Like, it's, uh, like I said, man, I'm not one of those guys who's in there, like, tensed up, like, freaking out. This is the most fun I get to have in my adult life, is I get to go in there fight somebody in a steel cage in front of people. And I think for a little bit, Brendan was feeling it too. Like, this is like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I got to put my mean face on. Like, for what? We're fighting. I don't need to give you a mean face. I'm not going to intimidate you anymore. Let's just go fucking go. And we were having a blast. So, it, you know, why not why, why not talk? Why not, you know, egg each other on? Was there a moment where you could both hear Michael Bisping maybe helping him out of a bit of grappling? <laughs> So it's funny. I'm, I'm like, he's on my back and I'm getting up. And I'm like, you know what? And like, I'm, as I'm standing, I'm like thinking to myself, so how he is now, do I, I couldn't really tell like how much he was behind me. So I'm like, do I address the hands or the hook first? And Michael Bisping's like, you should probably go to the baseball grip. I'm like, thanks, Mike Bisping. And I went to the baseball grip. Like, yeah. So cause I was wondering myself, I was like, okay, I'm not in danger, but I have to address one of these first. And I was trying to decide like mentally, like, where do I go? And Mike Bisping's like, yeah, I'm not really coaching him, but you should go for the baseball grip. I'm like, I'm not going to argue with Mike Bisping, so thank you, Mike Bisping. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Congrats on the win. Action man, not journey man. Thank you. Yeah, see, thank you. I love this guy. <laughs> Walk us through that finish. You, that body shot was fantastic, and it set everything up. How did you see that opening? How did you catch that read? Uh, hilariously, the entire game plan for this fight was off of his kicks, off of his punch, everything. Meat hook to the body, go to the head. Meat hook to the body, go to the head. He throws anything, cross to the body, go to the head. He steps in, hook to the body, hook to the head. Uh... Sean and Puna both said he's not, he's he, a good striker, but he's not particularly like super powerful. And in this fight, you know, everybody gives me shit for the Phil Hawes fight about like, you know, like, oh, who's beating you up? I got hit twice clean from punches, first of all, so screw you guys out there. But second, it's a different fight, man. I was coming in on short notice against a guy, one of the bigger guys in the division. Like, Phil's a 215 on fight day, so I can't go heads up with Phil Hawes. Like, I'm a natural Walter Waite. Well, I was at least. I'm not going back now. But, uh, I can't go heads up with a guy like that. Brennan being not quite the athlete, but better fighter, it let me, okay, sit down, go in the pocket, move around. And we knew that it would be hard to touch his head. He's just, he's elusive. He likes to play back. He's tall. We have the same reach. And I can touch anybody's body. And I promise you, if I, if I touch your body, I'm going to break you down at some point. So the entire game plan got across four coaches was hit him in the body, hit him in the head, hit him in the body, hit him in the head. Every time you move, hit him in the body, hit him in the head. Step off line, hit him in the body, hit him in the head. And I played that on repeat until the fight was over. Congrats. It looked great. And, you know, you already come in with that energy. You're good to go. You don't need any motivation but how is the vibe when teammates are winning and everything's just looking great does that put an extra I, 
love it, man. Like, I'm so, you guys don't understand, like, how proud I am of everybody from Stream Couture that fought tonight. And, like, just this weekend, we have guys fighting Friday, Saturday, like, I think Sunday, actually, too. So we've got guys fighting all weekend. You guys can, will never know how proud I am of everybody put their work in. Like, there's so many people leaving blood, sweat, and tears on that mat that... It's freaking amazing. We've had a very good weekend. We went lose a draw. I'm proud of all these guys. I got to watch my teammates fight. I got to watch uh, Maki fight. I got to watch Cheyenne fight. I got to watch Manel fight. So seeing these guys go out there, put on the line, win, lose a draw, it's just like – how can you not leave it all out there when you see your friends and your, you know, your blood and your, your freaking, like those, that's your family. You go out there and put on the line. How can you not? So I was the last uh, extreme guy from the night. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to close it with a bang for my teammates and my coaches and everybody else. So we went out and did it. That was awesome. Congrats. And shout out with the, the poses at the end. That's how like Hulk Hogan, Randy Couture, like I was already <laughs> Orton poses just do it. Yeah, right. You, you, you got you to gotta have fun. Like, God, this sport's full of people who really want to be cool and they're not. So, like, I know I'm a dork. I'm okay with it. I've always been a dork, so I just embrace it. Totally fine with it. Well, you won, so that's what's up. Right? Who dares wins?